Hey, what's up guys? Back again with a new knife, and as you'll tell by the title, this is my second uh, CRK, or Chris Reeve knife, and uh, it's this one right here. That's right, picked up an Umnumzon. Right, uh, yeah, I've been uh, carrying this around for the past few days, and uh, man, I like it guys, I like it a lot. So, um, yeah, I bought this one up off of USN, and uh, yeah, pretty happy with my purchase. This one was uh, definitely previously used. Um, it does have some cosmetic difference, uh, I guess, wear on it. And uh, this one was actually stonewashed by the previous user. Um, I believe he is a scale crafter. He does, you know, uh, pimp jobs on knives. So he does have uh, equipment to do that sort of thing. And um, yeah, he stonewashed the TI scales. So it does have a very different feel and look to it when compared to the uh, Spenza or, you know, newer Sabenzas, and it's almost kind of like it's uh, pre-worn in, if anything, but it's pretty interesting. And uh, most importantly uh, of all, this one came with this. That's right, it came with a Brad Southerd titanium backspacer. So I'm really, really uh, stoked about that. Uh, I've seen videos about these backspacers, um, and Brad Southerd uh, did some for the military, the Spartacle military, and possibly the Sabenza. I think I saw some pictures of some he made for the Sabenza, but they were primarily for the Umnumzan and uh, Spartacle military. So, yeah, this one has got one of those. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, yeah, overall, just to first impressions, I'm really liking this knife. It's quite different from that of the Sabenza in that, um, yeah, the action is very different because the thumb stud is very close to the pivot so it's actually kind of your thumb actually travels a much shorter distance so it does actually feel like it opens a lot faster and that's pretty cool and it and you can um, flick this one out uh, yeah unlike the Sabenza so yeah I'm really liking this knife I uh, love the look of it I always thought of the Umnumzan as the Sabenza's kind of older brother that works out and maybe takes steroids or something, I don't know, <laughs> but that's uh, pretty cool, yeah, uh, definitely almost like a, almost like a fighter version of the 21, but that's pretty cool, it's got that uh, glass breaker on it, which is really cool, uh, would love to test it out one day, but uh, I guess I'll, we'll have to wait for that, got that really large pivot, and this one, yeah, as I said, it was a user, so it did have some cosmetic wear on it on the tip. There are some scratches on this side. Um, not too major. I mean, this is a user for me, so I can kind of live with that. And it's kind of weird. It's got some... looks like the previous owner did some beveling on the bottom part of the scale. I don't know why you would do that, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'll email him and ask him. But not a big deal. And of course, if... Um, yeah, if I really want to, I can always send the knife in for spot treatment and uh, get it kind of refurbished uh, to look brand new again. Oh, and this is uh, a 2009 model. I don't have the birth card. Uh, the pre previous owner didn't have it. But uh, as you can see, it does not have the lock bar stabilizer. And I know it's uh, made in 2009 because inside uh, I can see the date stamp and it says 09. So... Um, I believe that makes this uh, a knife, uh, a CRK that uses S30V as opposed to S35VN. I'm not fully sure. Maybe one of you guys can chime in and let me know if the steel on this on uh, this knife, if it's S30V or S35VN. So 2009. I'm not fully sure. I haven't fully done my research yet, but um, yeah, we'll figure that out. But overall, yeah, it's a really great knife, guys. I like it a lot. It's just so much fun to play with. Uh, yeah, love it. And it does feel quite different from the Sabenza in that it, um, to me, not that it's like a detriment, but does feel a bit, just not as refined as the Sabenza. Um, now I don't mean that in a bad way, it's just that this does seem like, uh, in terms of the way it just looks and in, in the way it feels especially. Um, I find the lockup on my Sabenza a bit more solid, um, but that be I think that's mainly due to I have to mess with the pivot a just a little bit on my Umnumzan because as of right now uh, I can actually unscrew the pivot just with my finger strength, 
and uh, I may have to set it with Loctite. I don't know if that's normal. Uh, maybe one of you guys can tell me, but um, I do have a uh, takedown tool on its way. So I will open this baby up, clean it out, put some more uh, grease in, and uh, get it nice and smooth. Alright, so, uh, yeah, not to keep you guys too long, but I'll definitely do an update on this later on. And of course, uh, seems like everybody who has both of these knives inevitably does a comparison video. So, um, yeah, I'll definitely share my thoughts on the, these two knives. If you guys are interested, that is, of course. And, um, yeah... It's uh, it's kind of funny after having getting these two knives, uh, I think this is it for me, guys. Not not that I'm done knife collecting, but in terms of users and knives that I will carry, I think these two, um, man, these two are going to be my dynamic duo. <laughs> you know, after going to trying out Chris Reeve knives, um, yeah, I really like them, and uh, I definitely will try out Striders one day and maybe a Hinderer. But right now, I'm really liking uh, Chris Reeve knives. Amazing stuff. Alright, so, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, let me, guys, let me know what you think, and uh, if you have any comments or questions, as always, uh, please feel free to leave them down below, okay? So there it is, guys, Chris Reeve, Om Nom Zan, and my 21. Oh, and yeah, I got the uh, lanyard on here because the previous owner sent the lanyard of the Om Nom Zan along with it, so I just put it on my 21. Alright, so there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.